What up, what up? It's your girl, John Chris, and I'm back with another one. Um, all right, guys, update. On Turks and Caicos, the government is in full lockdown, 24-hour lockdown, which means this. You cannot leave your apartment other than your front yard. If you're staying at a resort, you can only stay on resort. You cannot leave the resort. They're doing this for three weeks to prevent the potential spread of COVID. Um, the weather's beautiful down here. Everybody seems to be somewhat positive that uh, the government made the right decision. And they did. They acted really fast. And uh, I wish the U.S. did something like that. But uh, here we are, nonetheless, in this situation. I'm fine. I'm safe. You can leave the resort only to get food. Um, but we stocked up a couple weeks ago, so we're good. Um, beautiful day outside. Trying to make the best of a of somewhat not great situation. I want to show you uh, what the beaches look like. You are not allowed on the beach. It is illegal to go on the beach uh, as a mandate from the government. Um, so we're just going to stay on resort and we're, we're staying isolated, social distancing um, as to the CDC guidelines. But uh, it's, uh, it's weird. There's no one, there's no one outside. It's bizarre. I've been coming here for so long and you know, it's sad to see this situation unfold, but uh, the government's doing the right thing. And um, I guess what I'm gonna do today is just walk around. I've been working out. Uh, I also have so much beautiful footage that I took over the last two weeks, so I'm gonna incorporate it into this vlog to show you guys the beauty that is Turks and Caicos and the beautiful people that surround it. So uh, let me take you to the beach real quick. I can't go on the beach, but I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like because it's kind of crazy. This is the scene right now. Zero people out. Zero people out, but uh, still in paradise. Look at this. Absolutely crazy. This would be illegal. I'm not going to do that because that's illegal. And um, I'm going to show you what we're doing all day. Because there's only one thing to do all day, hang out with each other and social distance. Delicious. What are you making? Uh, I'm gonna make pasta and chicken nuggets and some chicken bacon. nuggets tonight. Yeah. All right. So we are we are isolated for three weeks. The the Turks and Caicos government has not allowed anybody on the beaches. You have to stay in your place. 24 hour lockdown. You can go outside, but like right outside your apartment, which we're gonna do. Um, but uh, for the most part, it's just this is it for the next three weeks. Turks and Caicos. You're allowed to go to the grocery store and back and that's it crazy times man we are we're watching movies i'm learning french roman's designing things i don't really know what she's doing she's been cooking she's actually becoming a great chef i've been waking up cuddling her for a little bit yes mm -hmm. color funny yeah you're funny why yeah. it's cute. I like you. this is the extent of our day we walk around the apartment we Keep walking around the apartment. We look at stuff. We watch the TV. I watch the news. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Sorry about the interruption. Uh, I thought Trump was gonna say something important. He didn't. Uh, and I haven't been working much, as is the whole country. So um, no time to do anything but be healthy. I was doing yoga this morning. I killed it. I'm out. Yeah, but you're supposed to support me. I'm, I'm, I'm but supporting you. Good but I'm supporting you by doing yoga with you because I don't want to do yoga. 
and you making fun of me, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't help. <coughs> Wait. <laughs> yoga only because I promised you to make you eggs and sausages and you quit after 15 minutes and you still made me eggs and sausages because I was going to make it for you anyway crazy news uh, an update today Roman fainted this morning <laughs> let's reenact what just happened Thanks. thanks you okay what are you doing are you joking <laughs> What happened. That's exactly what happened. Roman fainted this morning. Ooh. She got out of bed too fast. She comes over leaning over the door while I open it. I thought she was kidding like just oh I'm tired. Falls over, smacks her head into one wall. Backtracks, smacks her head into the other wall. And she's lying there lifeless and then starts almost in tears telling me she didn't feel good. Because it was so scary because I like blacked out. And, like, she just got up too fast. Went, like black. Yeah. Roman, would you uh, tell us what we have on the dinner this, this fine evening? Well, we ran out of pasta sauce. Okay. So I'm making Pesto sauce or pasta sauce? Pasta. Oh, ew. You're making homemade... Yes, I'm making it and it's going to be delicious and you're going to eat it. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you plan on making this pasta sauce? I'm making avocado sauce. Avocado sauce. So I'm just going to blend some avocados together with some olive oil and some spices and it's going to be delicious. You left the door open. You left the door, Wendy. You're cute. It's freaking hot out today, man. I'm the, probably the tannest I've ever been. Yeah, it's easy, huh? <sighs> I'm trying to do a vlog. I didn't know it was a vlog all about you, sir. No, Mr. I... Grinch, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> I don't trust you when you have a fork or a knife in your hand. This looks delicious. Yes, baby. Can you let me set the table first? Sure. Can I sit here? Yeah. Are you going to sit there? Yeah. <laughs> Can you take this out of there? As we sit here looking over the ocean, it, it was a pretty good day. A very unproductive day. We didn't do much. We kind of just lounge, I guess, like the rest of America. My, my camera is sandy. Um, really? Yeah, and the microphone. Just something's up in my equipment right now. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm thankful that I have a camera down here. Um, all right. I'm going to eat with her. And then... Thank you for being so great. I wish you said that off camera, I see. What did I, what did I do when I woke <laughs> up this morning? Tell them, tell them word for word. I love you so much. And how many kids did you get? Like, too many. That's nice. Thank you. All right, I gotta go. In today's programming, we are going to be cooking. I have one chicken for the two of us. She's probably not going to have any, but she's eating her apple right now. I'm going to uh, make a feast during this crazy time of quarantine. We are not allowed outside the resorts, so um, stick with me. I'm going to make a fantastic meal. It's going to be chicken, it's going to be mustard, and a little bit of ketchup. Uh, I don't think I'm doing a very good job. I didn't marinate it. I didn't put oil on it. <sighs> what are you gonna do? Life is good. I'm hoping everybody's safe at home and that uh, you're quarantining and self-isolating and social distancing. And uh, let's just be positive. Only thing you can do at this time is be positive.
Um, that's not to undermine the, the severity of the situation, but we are going to get through this. It's just going to be a matter of months, uh, and the world is going to change as we know it, I think. Um, I don't know when oat bars and restaurants open again that people are going to be willing to just go. So that's going to be interesting to see how this plays out, but uh, we're all in the same boat, so let's get through it together. <laughs> <Empty calls. laughs>